sickfaces.com and BS Crap GPS and mnemonics to help you quickly remember the inducers and inhibitors of the cytochrome P450 enzymes. These are a group of enzymes present in the liver that play a role in metabolizing a range of different compounds, but the activity of these enzymes can be affected by certain compounds, known as either inducers or inhibitors. This means that certain compounds can cause an increase or decrease in the effect of other medications the patient may be taking. We'll do inhibitors first, meaning they decrease the activity of cytochrome P450 enzymes, and so any drug that is metabolized by these enzymes will now be cleared slower and therefore may have a greater impact than expected. Sickfaces.com group is the traditional mnemonic, but we're making a small change and adding a T to make it stickfaces.com group, which will make it easier to remember that these are inhibitors, as you can see by the word stop spelled in yellow. So S stands for sodium valproate, which is an anti-epileptic drug, and the T we just added is for ticlodipine, which is an antiplatelet medication. I for isoniazid, C, or the first C, is cimetidine, an anti-H2 receptor drug that inhibits stomach acid production. K is ketoconazole and F is fluconazole, both of which are antifungal drugs. A here is alcohol use, specifically acute consumption or binge drinking. A is also for the antiarrhythmic drug amiodarone. The second C reminds us of ciprofloxacin, a fluoroquinolone, as well as chloramphenicol. E is for erythromycin, and S is for the sulfonamides. The third C is to remind you of cranberry juice. O is for omeprazole, which is a proton pump inhibitor that is used to reduce stomach acid production. M is metronidazole, an antibiotic that is commonly used in GI infection, and it has antiparasitic properties. Finally, we have group to remind you that grapefruit juice is also inhibitor of the cytochrome P450 enzymes. This is why you shouldn't see cranberry and grapefruit juice being given for breakfast at the hospitals. Okay, so let's do the inducers now. These increase the activity of the cytochrome P450 enzymes, and so the drugs that the patient is taking that are metabolized by cytochrome P450 enzymes will now get cleared faster and therefore be less effective than we expected. BS crap GPS is the mnemonic. So to help you remember that these induce cytochrome P450 enzymes, think about how having a crap GPS would induce anger or rage or whatever. So B stands for the barbiturates and the first S is for St. John's wort. C is for carbamazepine, which is an anti-epilepsy drug. And R is for rifampin, also known as rifampicin, an antibiotic that is used against things like tuberculosis. A is once again for alcohol, but this time it's more chronic use of alcohol rather than binge drinking or acute consumption. P is for phenytoin, yet another anti-seizure drug. And next we have G for grisofulvin, which is an antifungal drug. P is for phenobarbital, our final anti-seizure medication that also works as a sedative. Finally, we have S, which stands for the sulfonyl ureas. These are a class of drugs used to increase insulin production in diabetics.